Welcome back everybody into another daily recap. Today is Monday and it's the 13th of February. So uh, this week main focus is the CPI that is going to happen tomorrow and it's the big fundamental catalyst that uh, investors are waiting for for this week. And let's go and get into the price action of today on gold. So you can see this is Friday that we, where we stayed uh, below this PSA in this uh, huge demand and then supply area and then this morning we uh, we opened at these lows 1860 something and then during London uh, there was an attempt to break above but as you can see here that the price failed to do so and actually created a market structure a bearish market structure that went uh, with the rejection the rejection of, of this level 1863 another rejection this is doing the new york session this is doing pre-new york session this is london then after a bounce from key level 1855.5 then uh, we had a, another continuation making a new lower low lower low a new lower high to then break below 1855 and trying to also break below 1852 but let's uh, dig into it and let's have a look on the one minute what happened during the New York session mainly. So as you can see here, what we are seeing is that uh, this is the London highs uh, to the London lows. We can see that this movement, so we can see that the bearish movement uh, went and tapped into 1855 um, and retraced. So this is the overall bearish movement, as you can see here. And that's where we can see that from this last impulse during the pre-London pre movement, we had a retracement of around 75%, a little bit less if we take into consideration um, these impulses start, starting from there. But what is most important is not just the number, as you always know, is about the area. So 1863 has been the, uh, a huge uh, area of interest for the whole week at least and uh, we can see that we had multiple rejections during uh, the last L London and pre-New York time as you can see here we had a triple top being created and then the continuation bullish bearish as you can see here also at the start New York open the failure to make new eyes this is already high volume time with the, and the spike up but then failure to break above, probably this is also a PPL, yes, as you can see here, price went exactly to the 1862.5 PPL, still maintaining the bearish price action that has been developed during uh, London session, as you can see here, so we're still maintaining this uh, bearish structure, and after price made a new intraday lower low, and this was the, uh, the last high, after price broke below this previous level, um, that's the new lower low, lower low that was being printed. Then the retracement is about okay, where is the price going to make a new lower high if we are maintaining a structure? And, and you can see pre New York, we had multiple times, multiple attempts, but as well, okay, maybe you don't you are coming into New York if you already, unless you enter exactly here at this uh, candle confirmation that we can see over here on the left hand side is here this clean red candle that confirmed even if we were just to okay let's stay there even if it were just like this okay that's where we have the confirmation of the rejection and the confirmation this is high risk high reward buys sells but then, of course, you have your 1859 P PSA of interest, as you know, and that's when you when you finally see the breakdown, the retest. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Uh, when you have this retest, that's your perfect entry because you have the bullish one. This can also be smaller stop loss, like a 12 pip, and that's where you can have the scalp uh, down to the key level. Or even more, you can see here that still, even if it's 12, it's always good to have a little bit of cover to cover these previous eyes because, of course, you don't want if you 
mm, price no one to get trapped into it this is probably uh yes uh to not not a specific time but that's when the volume is coming into the table you want to at least, at least cover this previous psa this previous previous piece of market structure and uh like the 12 pips was more than enough in this case but even if you kept your 15 pip would have been great as per um risk to reward and let's have a look if it goes if it breaks below maybe when you see here this double bottom at this uh, at the key level that's where maybe you can as a scalper you can take your profits and get out of the market waiting for further confirmation so as you can see here this would still have been like a 30 33 pips more than two to one let's say you exit here at the double top at the double bottom uh, what you still have is confirmation of price uh, let me just okay so it's fine let me just this is a confirmation price is retesting uh, these previous eyes on the left hand side and it's giving a strong rejection now this is the new four hour open making the top week so we can expect price to continue bearish at least to retest this key this uh, key level and as you can see here price just went straight down and even deep even below so as you can see here that's where you could have taken your entry um as i was talking about it here 15 pip that's a 45 pip it or even uh, still the further rejection or possibly a ppl not even but yes another rejection during new york stock exchange opening here failing to make new eyes and then having the momentum going bearish and after that we can see that uh, the price already will uh, yes will give further um at the same psa because we are talking about exactly the same psa and i don't know about the ppls we are in the middle of the ppl but as you can see here how price failed to close below this ppl if you can see here yes failed to close above multiple times that's where you uh, validate your sell bias this is now almost yeah the 10 a.m candle opening so you can expect volume to jump back in jump back and you know that there's a huge time is a huge time of volatility especially with this candle closure showing you weakness from the bias and as you can see look at the huge top week being left multiple candle entries that you could have same price action that happened yes uh, before during the early new york session and that's where price just gave you the opportunity to go again to the uh, to the key level 30 pips still uh, more than two to one you can even hold a runner and say okay let's say if we go back to the 1855 to 1852 as you can see here price went but afterwards yes uh, rejected you can see that the price action the sellers price action the bearish price action is not as uh it's nice as it was before you don't have any more the consecutive bearish candles just uh, simply and very easily uh, engulfing every bullish one as you can see as you can, it happened here there are many more consecutive candles here now what you're seeing multiple bullish candles engulfing the bearish one as you can see this huge candle even the, this bearish one fails to, to make and correct the previous one and gets engulfed immediately so that's not really the price section that you want and as you can see here price had to retrace all the way back up to this previous uh, highs and psa before having giving you another um, further opportunity but as you can see here we still have uh, this bounce from this uh, the key level very strong engulfing that is still not very appealing for sales but instead it goes just straight down <laughs> as i as exactly not as i was as i was not saying yes we were making a um higher highs and higher lows so we could have even not here i was talking about this one so we could have even taken a buy this would have been just a simple loss after three easy wins yes maybe you should stay in the same bias because you are still printing High, lower highs and lower lows as you can see here um we made a new lower low here it's just that later during new york we failed to make so 
but it also failed to make new highs so we never broke above this level uh, so we never uh, managed to make new highs so we are still in this sort of wedging pattern and as you can see that the trend line gets retested and of course we are now outside London session and we have a spike of volatility on the downside and attempt to retest 18.52 now we have multiple retests as you can see here multiple retests of this previous PSA coming from London or multiple retests maybe you could even take this cells in continuation especially the first one it's very nice still the range is quite uh, a lot especially considering that the uh, London is not anymore London session it's just simple um, New York session but still yes up until the touch of the key level that was only 15 pip we have a huge um, we have a huge spike in volatility and that's where of course uh, you could have closed at break even or with a small loss if you uh, if you took these cells in continuation but of course now we are talking about look at it about it so yes that would have been still been hoping that the price will do that but i mean there's no not a real point to make so yes another rejection the same um, price action but of course low volume and so bigger volatility into the charts so this is it guys for today tomorrow we have the cpi and we're going to expect a lot of uh, much more volatility and uh, volume coming into the chat after the data gets released and I see you guys tomorrow.